Studies, head coach for the Centurions, Mr. Jamie Foster, assistant coach, Coach Blue, assistant coach, Coach Ludmere. Everybody, the thoroughbreds of Blue Lights College have had a season hampered by fits and starts. Nine games into the 2018-19 season, the administration sensed a lack of focus by some team members and canceled the games for the rest of the semester to reorganize the program. That led to a coaching change and the hiring of Mario Farr. Then, starting this spring semester, three games were canceled, all by the opposing teams due to unforeseen circumstances. So the herd has only played one game and one exhibition game since November the 18th. That's two games in 65 days. You better believe they're ready and raring to get back to action here tonight. Good evening from Hope Community Church in Apex, North Carolina where Blue Lights College takes on rival Carolina Christian College tonight. Good evening, I'm Mike Davis. Roderick Warren is standing by. He's turning all the knobs. And we're ready to get set to action. The starters are being announced. Even as we speak, let's take a look at them. First of all, for the Centurions out of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. They're going to be starting at one forward, number 13, 6'4", sophomore out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Keontae Edwards. Number two is a six-foot guard out of Winston-Salem, Jonathan Cunningham. Number 12, that's a 6'3", freshman guard out of Charlotte. He is Rayshon Gray. 6'2", freshman guard from Anniston, Alabama, where's number 24, that's Caleb Young. And rounding out the starting five, 6'5", power forward out of Baltimore, number 10, Ramel Horlbeck. If we all could bow 
And the Centurions coached by Jamie Foster, his first year with the program. And we're going to get set to get underway in just a moment after our national anthem. Let us pray. And the invocation. Say thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. For we understand that it certainly could have been the other way. We thank you tonight for another opportunity to assemble together and play and spectate a game we love. Father, we ask that you would develop these young men not only naturally and physically, but spiritually and mentally, so that they are able to do exactly what it is you have called them to do. We understand that in order to succeed not only in sports, but in life, is to trust you. Because the Bible tells us that you're not a man that you should lie. We have to place all of our faith in you because without faith, my Bible tells me that it's impossible to please you. And we have to understand that you have a purpose for us. For over in Jeremiah 29 and 11, it reads, tells, it tells us, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil, but to give you an expected end. So my prayer is that once basketball is over and they left it all on the court, that they will be able to walk in their destiny and ultimately your will. For it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We'll have our national anthem. Our national anthem as we get set to uh, get underway here now. The uh, starters for Blue Lights College. Dominique Hunter, 6'2", sophomore forward. He wears number zero. Mike Maxwell is the big guy in the middle, 6'6", six six, sophomore forward. He wears number one. Number two is the team's leading scorer, 6'3", forward George Garcia. He hails out of... Cleveland, Ohio, Justin Hurt from Raleigh, North Carolina as a 5'10 freshman guard. He wears number 11. And the point guard, Richard Campbell, 5'11 point guard, sophomore, number 13. The opening tap is controlled by the Centurions wearing their road black with the gold trim. The thoroughbreds in their home whites with the blue numerals and the orange trim. And we have our first foul of the ball game. Sizing up the numbers. And our first foul will go against Dominique Hunter, first of the ball game. Our officials tonight, Michael Shepard, Eric Lewis, and Paul Marcus Baker. And the Centurions come into tonight's game with a four and six record overall and draining it from outside from the short three point arc. Number 24 opens up the scoring. That's the freshman Young, and it's a three to nothing ball game here in the early going. Third home game of the season for Blue Lights College. Reach around, no call there. Over to Garcia. Garcia looking to go baseline. He's cut off there. Campbell will take it outside, and he shows he can hit it from outside as well, and we have a 3-3 ball game here just less than 55 seconds into the contest. Man-to-man defense, -man defense, there's Campbell breaking it up. He's going to take it, lays it up, and the first lead of the ball game for Blue Lights College. Campbell has the 
early five points. It's five to three. Blue Lights leading rival Carolina Christian. These two teams met twice last year. Both of them wins here in Apex by the visiting Centurions. Hunter with the rebound and it's tied up and the jump ball rotating possession will go to the thoroughbreds. Jamie Foster and his first year leading the Centurion program as head coach. Hunter gets the ball into the hands of Richard Campbell going to the right into the middle. Maxwell working off the glass. It's not there. Rebound comes down to Alston. Correction, Cunningham outside for three once again. This one's short. In and out of the hands of Garcia. He cleans it up. He's going to bring it across, gets it into the hands of his point guard. Long three on the way, and a foul on the play. And that'll be against Horlbeck. His first, team's first, and three shots coming up for Richard Campbell. Two minutes, one second ticked off the clock here in the first half from Hope Community Church and Richard Campbell connects there. He's hit on everything he's put up here in the first two minutes. Second shot. Oh! <laughs> Gets it the hard way. And our DJ LA tonight doing play-by-play -play here in the arena. Hope Community Church Apex Auditorium. He hits all three, so he's got eight points on five shots. Kicking it back outside and a travel. Good defense by the Thoroughbreds, forcing the turnover. Coach Mario Farr in his second official game as head coach. He was assistant coach here last year, taking over the program in midseason. An exhibition game, not counting in the standings, and there's Domo for two. And it's an early 10-3 lead for the Thoroughbreds. Hunter, outside, there's the shot, misses the work. Hunter, Kurt can't haul it in, he taps it into the hands of his point guard, Richard Campbell. Campbell. Working against the man-to-man -man outside to Hurt. They'll swing it around. Garcia steps inside the arc. It's off the glass. It's not there. Chasing it down inside. And Carolina Christian saves it. Driving it coast to coast. And looks like he got away with some steps there. Garcia brings it home. Mario Farr urging. His guys to make it down the floor. There's a hack, no call. Maxwell outside, it's long. And the rebound hauled down by Hurlback. Back to Hurlback, right side. Blind pass into the corner for three, not there. And it comes back down to the thoroughbreds, and they're working the glass here in the early going. Hunter to Hurt. To Campbell. Campbell working against the matchup zone outside. It's not there, and they back off too soon to go for a rebound. Centurions come away with it. Cunningham at the point outside. This is Borrow back for three. And he has all six of the Centurions' early points. Just a little over four minutes gone here in the opening. Session from Apex, North Carolina. It's a 10-6 ball game. Domo kicking it outside. They'll work it back out. We can't see the shot clock from here. It's in front of us, but the players can see it. That's the important thing inside, and Campbell almost loses the ball over to Hurt. The runner is going to be short and a foul on the play. And it's going to be a charge called on Justin Hurt, his first Team second. These two teams, Hurt going for the steal, and that leaves his man open. Can't get it. Hurt's there for the rebound. 
He's going to bring it across, looking for his point guard. And kicked ball. Still be thoroughbred basketball. These two teams will meet again later this season in Winston-Salem. First time Blue Lights will make that trip. First of a back-to-back -back road trip to end the season in February, end the regular season, I should say, as they'll play on a Friday night in Winston-Salem, and then the next day take on Warren Wilson in Swananoa. Short, CCC with the basketball, looking for the shot that there, and moves it inside. It's up and good for two. First bucket for Gray. And he's the first player. for Carolina Christian not to score from beyond the arc here in the early going. And that pulls the Centurions to within two. 14-20 to play first half. Very little stoppage of play, a fast moving first half of action here in Apex. Blind pass underneath and blocked. Well, that's great defense underneath by Hurlback to block Maxwell. But I believe uh, there is some contact on the play, and that's going to be the first, make it the second foul on Horlback, according to my highly unofficial statistics. Mike Maxwell with a chance at the line. This is the first our first substitution of the game as Horlback steps out. And Henny, Jason Henny, 6'1", Forward out of New Jersey checks into the ball game for Jamie Foster's Centurions. One more shot coming up for Mike Maxwell. Thanks for joining us here this evening. If you get a chance to come out to a game, you should do so. Two more home games coming up. Maxwell connects on his second one. And it's 11 to eight with 14 minutes to play. To Henny, he drives inside, hands it off, shot off the iron, not there, rebound to the Centurions, up and puts it back in. Up and good for Henny. His first bucket of the night, and it's a one-point ball game once again after an early seven-point lead. Scored six straight points here, and we're going on a... Six to one advantage, a nice pass underneath to Garcia for two. 13 to 10. The thoroughbreds resident, Captain Jacques Gilbert, watching to our right and liking what he's seeing so far. Kick back outside, faking the shot, Cunningham. Now to Henny outside, long three on the way. It's not there. Garcia cleans the glass for the herd. Here comes Campbell, threading the needle, wants to take it the distance, does so, can't get it to drop. Maxwell's got it inside, and he's fouled on the play. That's going to be Henny's first on the reach in. Third foul against Carolina. Mario Farr coaching down on the court, and we're going to get another substitution, a deeper bench for the Centurions than Mario Farr has to work with. A couple of subs getting set to check in as Maxwell has now hit two in a row from the arc. Or from the stripe, I should say. Checking into the ball game. And I'm going to have to double check at the half exactly who uh, number 15 is. I don't have him on my, oh yes I do, Mike Burnett, my apologies. 6'3 junior guards checked into the ball game. Outside shot not there and Hunter is there and pass picked off. They've got numbers, three on two down on the baseline, throws it away. Down to Hurt, waits, draw, and no call and he makes him pay for it. Hurt for two. 16 to 10, 12 15 to play. The other player to check into the ball game wearing number one, that's Daquan Lee, six foot guard out of Winston Salem. And a foul. 
charge will be against the Centurions. Number 13, that's Edwards, his first, team's fourth. And the Centurions starting to rack up some early fouls here. Something that the herd can't afford to do. They've only got two players coming off the bench at this point and a foul away from the ball. That'll be on Lee. That's Daquan Lee out of Winston-Salem. And gonna reset the shot clock after the foul. And Hunter will be inbounding on the far side, looking for his point guard. And gonna get it into the backcourt, and it's out of bounds. It'll belong to BLC. Off the hands of Lee, who made a good dive for it. And we're making sure that the uh, clock, the shot clock has been reset. We've got a fresh shot clock and we're uh, ready to get back underway. There we go. 11.43 to play, first half 16 to 10. Blue Lights leading Carolina Christian. These two teams both Two schools, I should say, both started their programs last year and outside, not there for Garcia. Bringing it home, taking it the distance off the rebound. It's not there. Hurt's going to take it down to the races. He's got a two on three break and a charge. Hurt picks up his second. And that'll be the third against Blue Lights. And our first substitution. For the thoroughbreds, Darren Williams, six-foot freshman out of Raleigh, checking into the ball game for the first substitution of the night for Blue Lights College, and he'll replace Justin Hurt. As I mentioned, only two players dressed on the bench. The other, Victor Nong, he'll be checking in later, and Zachary Haney was injured in a car accident back in the fall, and uh, he says he is going to be ready to go this Friday for the game at Patrick Henry. And shot up and good for Lee. 16 to 12, 11.03 to play first half. Hunter looking outside, finds Maxwell, dishes it off, and a charge on Maxwell, and the charges are starting to add up. Fourth foul on blue lights. It's too bad Coach Farr can't dress some of his assistants. He's got three of them on the bench. He could use <laughs> He could use them. So far, so good here in the early going. And playing tough defense, throws the ball away. Williams comes away with it. Garcia lays it off the glass and good. Garcia's second bucket of the night. He's the leading scorer for the team and the all-time leading scorer for Blue Lights College. Long rebound comes down to Campbell. That hole cut off as they've spread the defense now on him. Maxwell inside rolls it in for two. His first field goal of the night, he's got Four points, according to my highly unofficial statistics. 20 to 12, our highest lead of the ball game. Rolling inside for two is Henny, and a timeout on the floor. Ten minutes exactly. We're finished with the first quarter here from Apex. The score: Blue Lights 20, Carolina Christian 14. Church, Church, 
Special Horizon Fellowship Church. This game is being broadcasted live tonight on the Report. Who would like to start a Athletic Director Mike Davis is providing what play action. Once again, made a shout out to the president. Welcome back, everybody, and even 10 minutes to go in this one. And first half, that is. Victor Nong checking in to the ball game. Six foot four freshman hails from Egypt, although he only spent the first six months of his life or so there. He calls that home. And it looks good on the roster. What looks good right now is the scoreboard. If you're a Thoroughbreds fan, 20 to 14 the lead here in the early going. They have led the entire way. Shot by Campbell, not there. Battle for the rebound comes down to the Centurions. Henny bringing it down. He is a muscular six foot one. He kicks it back outside. Good ball movement. Inside they go, twisting around, kicked away, and another turnover. Here comes Garcia. He's got, he's got a defense to deal with, and he puts it up. No good by Williams, and the rebound comes down to Edwards and Carolina. And he gets the ball off. Far side, inside, it goes off the glass. It's not there, and Nong cleans it up. There's a reach in, and Lee is going to draw his second personal. That is the sixth against Carolina Christian. Goolsby checking into the ball game. And Vicente. That's Anthony Vicente, 5'11 freshman out of Hinesville, Georgia, and Darius Gouldsby, six-foot sophomore out of Winston-Salem. He was on the squad last year. I remember him. Outside it goes. Thoroughbred basketball. They've got the lead. Hunter back to Campbell, far side. Screen set by Victor Nong. Good motion on defense by the Centurions, and there's Henny drawing his second, and that is the seventh personal against the Centurions, and we should have, I believe that's going to be one and one, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go, baby, let's go. Here we go. All right, Richard, what you going to do, baby? Let's go. I think they may have missed that, but they'll catch it on the next. Let's go, Richie. Let's go, baby. They'll catch that on Here the next go. foul. And outside and for goal. three. Three points by number 13, Mr. Richard Campbell. Campbell doing most of the damage here in the early going. Centurion outside, the there's a tray on the way. Nothing good. but net. By number 15. Burnett, and most of their offense is coming from outside. 23-17, just under eight minutes to play. Campbell blocked from behind and a foul on Henny. He can't believe it. And that is his third. And that's going to be two shots coming up for Richard Campbell. And Blue Lights is in the bonus. And another substitution is getting set to come in as Henny sits down. And we get another look at Caleb Young, who started the ball game. Deep bench, and I believe just about everybody has checked in now for Coach Jamie Foster. No good. 24-17, lead back to seven. On the make and the miss by Campbell. Looking forward over me. Screens are being set everywhere. Man-to-man defense by the thoroughbreds. Outside, they kick it over to Young. Working the ball. There's a look inside and a reach in. That'll be Campbell's first. And the team's fifth. Two shots. 
for shot for the Centurion. And Vicente good. makes good on the first one, his first point of the Number night. 11, 7.32 to play before Blue the break, 24 to 18. Second one on the way, and that one is also good by Vicente. Here we go. Freshman Four, Mr. making the most of his opportunity at the strike. Mike Davis with you. Thanks for joining us here tonight. From Apex, third home game of the season for Blue Lights College. Let's go. Here's Campbell working against Vicente. His shot short. Outside it comes. Garcia squares up and dreams it for three. His first tray of the evening. He's got seven on the night, 27 to 19. Vicente brings it across, working against the man to man. There's a push off, no call. Yeah, but they did catch that one. And that will be the second call on Campbell in about 60 seconds. And he's going to have to sit down. Justin Hurt will check into the ball game for him after this shot coming up it's okay by to make Mike some noise, Burnett. Girl, it's okay to make some noise. Let's go. L.A. working the crowd here tonight, and it's up and good by Burnett. He's got four on the night. Campbell sits down with 6.47 to play here in the first half. Second shot for the Centurions, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Let's we'll see if Mario Farr is going to try to keep him on the bench with those two fouls. We'll Here see we if go. he's able to do that. Nong holds it in, gets it outside to Hunter, who will probably take over the point guard duties. Tries to get back his miss, can't do it. Off to the races quickly. Williams is there underneath, and one coming up on the foul by Williams. That'll be his first sixth team foul against Blue Lights. And Edwards will go to the line to get three the old fashioned way. Can't do it, but Centurions pull it in. Moving to the blocks, shot is up, not there. Rebound Hunter. Quickly outside, tapped, tapped once, twice. Williams with the beautiful blind pass to Garcia for two. Give Williams the assist, two points to Garcia. Nicely done, 29-22, 6.05 to play first half. And a whistle. Looks like we got a foul on the floor. And that will be the seventh foul against Blue Lights. The Centurions go to the one and one, and that'll send Burnett to the line. Two shots, or one and one, I apologize. There you go, make some noise. Burnett, he's got five on the evening. He's two for three from the stripe tonight. There we go. Let's make some noise, Thoroughbreds. Let's make some noise, baby. And makes Seven good on is that good. one. Six points. Thoroughbreds. And pulls the Centurions to within five. Williams in the ring. Right side to Hunter. Tight man-to-man -man defense. He gets the pick. Left side. Baseline goes hurt. Inside to Nong. Nice crossover. And he got it for two. Nong's first bucket of the night. And he is the sixth player to score for Blue Lights here in the first half. Outside, good looking shot, squared up, can't get it to go. It's into the superstructure, and that's a turnover. Mike Maxwell checks back into the ball game, replacing Garcia. He'll join Nong, Hunter, Hurt, and Williams. Hunter between the rings. Sees an opening, puts up the runner, it's too short. Maxwell hauls it in. Takes it out of the hands of Goolsby. Right side, long, long range, got it for three. And the last five points scored by Nong, coming off the bench hot. And the lead is at 10, largest of the evening. Saved from going out of bounds by Domo. Domo pushing it, let's go. 
He holds up, gets it to Maxwell. Maxwell works in the paint, muscles inside, can't get it to go. Tapped up once and controlled by Carolina. Let's go, thoroughbreds. They're going to take it, and that's got to be a charge. No! A block on Maxwell will be his second. Oh, boy. That's a tough one. They call that foul on number one. He looked like he had been planted there like a tree. And referee Mike Shepard says he put his hip out to catch. Darius Goolsby as he came by and Mario Farr respectfully disagrees. Goolsby hits from the line for his first point of the night. He's got one more coming, 4.37 to play. First half, 34-25 and misses the second one. We have a violation there. Number five is Mr. Darius Goolsby. Williams races across, sees a hole, puts it off the glass, can't get it to go, and we get a block at the other end. What's, what's good for the goose, folks? This one will be on Edwards. And two shots coming up for the freshman. Williams looking for his first point of the night right here. And he gets it. Back to a 10-point advantage, 429 to play. Thoroughbreds have led the entire way first half and gets it to drop. He's got all two, and it's 11-point lead. Moving inside, no call inside, up and good. Although there was some contact between the shooter and Nong. He let him go and he's got two. Makes it a nine point ball game. Williams with the basketball. Playing the point in place of Campbell who's on the bench with two fouls. Pass inside intended for Nong, not there. And Turnover to Carolina Christian. Outside, stops, pops, shoots. It's good for two. If it goes, it doesn't. Outside, in and out of the hands of Justin Hurt. And Garcia checking back into the ball game, and he will replace Justin Hurt. Gets coached up a little by Mario Farr, and... Centurions with the basketball. All right, thoroughbreds, let's go. Substitutions let's go. getting set to come back go. in for the men in black. Hand off, and it's stripped by Garcia. He gets it back from Williams. Quickly down floor, Nong, the Domo for three. Got it! Let's go! Good ball movement gets a 12-point advantage for Blue Light. Let's go! And the largest of the night so far. Inside, turn around, up and not there. Nong hauls it in. And Blue Light's doing a good job on the boards here in the first half. A big part of that 12 point advantage. Out to Nong, he hit it from there a minute ago. He gets it again. 42 27, out to 15 on the three. Let's go, Tomo. And a timeout by Carolina Christian. 2.46 to play first half. It's 42 to 27. Blue lights with the early lead here. We'll keep it right here. As we take a look at the upcoming games for Blue Lights College, they take to the road again, Road Warriors that they are. This Friday night, a game at Patrick Henry College in Purcellville, Virginia, a 7 o'clock tip. First meeting ever between the Thoroughbreds and the Sentinels. And then we'll be right back here one week from tonight, Tuesday, January the 29th, as the Warriors of Appalachian Bible College come to town. A 5.30 tip here at the... Apex Auditorium, Hope Community Church. We're going to talk to the student body president 
Nicole Torres at halftime. Hope you'll stick around for that. So far, so good here in the early going. 2.43 to play in this one first half, 42-27. Blue Lights with the lead, and now the basketball off the miss. Quickly down floor to Williams. Williams using the glass. It's not there. Rebound to Carolina Christian. Here come the Centurions. Almost looks like steps picked off. Turnover back into the hands of Victor Nam. Outside for three. It's not there. Tap once out of bounds and last touched by the Centurions. Oh, no, they change it up. It will belong to Carolina Christian as Nong was the last one with a finger on it. Young with the basketball, twirls around, sees an opening, lays it up, not there, and tapped out of bounds, and looks like Nong may have caught a hand to the face, but he's okay, and he'll do the inbound duties with 2.03 to play before halftime. Thanks for joining us here for this game between these uh, two schools that started their programs together as it were last season. Out of bounds almost picked off. Hunter controls it, squares up, not there. Rebound comes down to Gray. He's going to bring it across, stops, pops over to his left to Goolsby, way outside for three. It's not there. Maxwell strips it away from Cunningham. He's going to take it coast to coast, lays it up, not there, and a blocking foul on Carolina Christian. It's going against Edwards. That will be his third. And we'll have two shots coming up for Big Mike. Of course, last year was the first year as a college for Blue Lights, but Carolina Christian's been around since the late 40s, but just started their athletics program in 2017-2018. Shot is up and good by Maxwell. And he's got five. And they haven't posted that shot yet. Maybe they'll get that in just a second. 43. Should be 44-27, I believe. And there it goes. And the lead is at 17, largest of the night. And Carolina Christian with a drive by Horlbeck. And Maxwell picks up his third. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. And that'll send the Baltimore native to the line to shoot two shots. And it's up. He makes it. Maxwell will sit down. Campbell back into the ball game. He's got two fouls, and Mario Farr was trying to protect him, but now needs to protect Second Maxwell shot. with three and can ill afford to lose that presence inside in the second, second half. Shot second good. shot also That's good. Five right. points for Horback with 112 to play here till halftime. Coming up at the half, we'll talk to the student body president, Nicole Torres. Stick around for that nice ball movement by the thoroughbreds. Uh-oh, just I jinxed them, and they throw it away. It'll be Centurion basketball, far sideline. Just under a minute to go before the half. We got 58 seconds left in the first half. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Centurions. This is Horrell back. Looking to do some damage. Kicks it off. Baseline. There's a jumper off the glass. And a foul as Goolsby drives. And that'll be Garcia picking up his first. Two shots coming up for Darius Goolsby, sophomore. And that's his second point of the night for the Winston-Salem native. Stayed close to home for school. This one is long and rebound to Nong. Here come the herd. And Campbell. Decides to hold it back. 36 seconds to play, first half. There he fakes him out, gets it up and gets it good. He did the early damage. Comes off the bench now after a rest and gets another bucket. 
He's leading all scorers here in the first half. Dishing it down on the block, kicking it out, back outside. Shot is up off the, off the iron. They'll haul it in, nine seconds to play. And they're gonna say Hunter tapped it out of bounds. Looks like we got a foul on the floor. And Gray will be throwing it in right in front of the thoroughbred bench. And there's plenty of time. They can't get it to go up. The put back, not good. Garcia can't get it off before the break. And that is the end of the first half. But an impressive first half it is. For the thoroughbreds, they lead by 16 at the break, 46 to 30 over Carolina Christian College. Welcome to halftime, everybody. I'm Mike Davis, and uh, I am pleased to uh, have as my guest here at halftime the uh, the Student Association President, Nicole Torres. Nicole, hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Let me make. Do I have enough sound over here? Oh, okay, good. Uh, so, first of all, tell me, what brought you to Blue Light Scott? Where's home for you, first of all? I am from Nightdale, North Carolina. Oh, that Night is home for me, yeah. So, well, that's my hometown <laughs> as well. Uh, how did you hear about Blue Lights? So, I was an intern with the Nightdale Police Department my senior year, and um, the captain over there, Captain Boykin, she kind of pushed me into it and told Captain Gilbert about me and just basically encouraged me to be part of the program, and I have loved it ever since. That's great. So, is this your first First or second year this at Blue Light? This is my Light. second year. I'll be graduating in May. You'll be graduating. Wow, yes. congratulations. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, how did you end up being the uh, Student Association president? Tell so, me about that. in high school, I did a lot of clubs. Um, I was very involved in the school and all the clubs and stuff. Nightdale and, High? Um, yeah, Nightdale okay. High School. All right. I was the, the head of the um, public safety academy that they had over there, which basically was surrounded with EMS and policing and stuff like that. And I interviewed um, with Captain Gilbert and the rest of the class and kind of ran for president and gave them my background, basically, and told them everything that I had been involved in, and I got voted in. <laughs> oh, well, that's great. So uh, what do you have to do? Now, I remember I went to East Wake. Uh, there was no Nightdale High School back in ancient yeah. times when I was in yes. high school. So I went to East Wake and I remember uh, campaigning and everything like that. I didn't do, I didn't have the success uh, running for uh, uh -huh. uh, for offices that you have had, obviously. What'd you have to do? What, what was your campaign theme? My campaign theme was basically just making a change and encouraging the young people to be more invested in the community and invested in what the police is doing to basically help out the community because as you know there's a big divide now with the police and how they manage things and everything that's going on in the media that's very publicized basically putting the police in a negative light so that is kind of my campaign just bridging the gap between the community and the police department and kind of making it better to how it was before so tell me about your experience at Blue Light. You, Blue Lights. You said you've you've enjoyed it. Has there been anything as you look back over your year and a half uh -huh. that that stands out? That that said that it was sort of maybe a, an aha moment or something that really stands out to you? At that that really sort of cemented things. Um, an aha moment. Not really. Everything has been amazing at Blue Lights College. You know, um, we do a lot of community service and kind of go out into the community and help the youth. And we're trying to recruit a lot of people that don't know what to do in the two years before BLET. There's a lot of people that get into bad stuff between graduating high school and joining the academy, and we're just kind of bridging the gap between that, you know, yeah. and helping them basically find their calling. It's kind of like a calling. Helping them see that this is what, if this is what they want to do, you know. That's so is BLET your next step? Will yes. that be? Yes. yes. I will be attending BLET at Wake Tech. Excellent. Well, I can tell you, I feel better about the future having actually spoke, having spoken with you because you're well spoken Thank you. and very encouraged by what you've had to say. So, will you be staying in Nightdale? Do you hope to stay? I hope to. If they will have me, I hope <laughs> to stay in Nightdale. The other choice is obviously Apex. Captain Jock Gilbert is 
trying very hard to get me to stay here, but we'll see. <laughs> well, don't tell anybody. A little bird tells me Nightdale wants you, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that uh, you're going to be sticking around, and that's good since that's my hometown. That makes me feel very good about that. Nicole Torres, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for, for what you're me. doing, and thanks for talking with us here at halftime. Thank you. Thank All right. You so Nicole Torres, Student Association President here at Blue Lights College, and uh, so far so good. It's a good night here for the Thoroughbreds as they lead at halftime, 46 to 30. We're gonna step away for just a few moments. You've, uh, you can listen to the tunes that Big D is laying down for us. We're gonna check our stats. We'll be back in about 10 minutes with those stats and the second half here in Apex.
Welcome back, everybody, as we get set for second-half action. 
a good first half under our belts with Blue Lights leading Carolina Christian 46 to 30 with a fresh 20 minutes on the clock. Let's take a look, uh, first half scoring. Very balanced scoring for Carolina Christian. Uh, nobody with more than six points. That was Burnett coming off the bench for that five points for Horrell back and a couple of players with four. Biggest scorer for Blue Lights, Richard Campbell hit a couple of trays and a, a couple of two-pointers and a bunch of free throws for his double digits and outside like out of bounds outside and Blue Lights will get their first offensive possession full court pressure and it works turnover quickly down the floor no not there and there it is up and good and so they're starting off with we got to have some intention, and so Mario Farr is going to talk about this, as we say, right quick in Franklin County. 30-second timeout. He doesn't like what he sees early on as full court pressure forces the early turnover, and so he wants to get his guys all on the same page. 14 points in the first half for Richard Campbell, who spent some extended time on the bench due to his two fouls, three fouls for Mike Maxwell. Edwards and Henney both with three fouls for the Centurions as we get back to action. Blue Lights getting set up for this full court pressure. Gets it into Maxwell. Got numbers, there it is to Garcia. That's how you beat a press. 48-32, we're back to a 16-point bulge like at the half. There's an opening up, not there, rebound tapped out, but picked back up by Young. Blue Lights comes away with it, and there's two more. Campbell adding to his total. He's got 16 on the night to lead all scorers. That, in essence, is the difference in the ball game. his offensive output. From the corner, not there, rebound underneath. The follow is up and good. Two points for Gray, and he's got both buckets here in the second half for Carolina Christian. Quickly breaking the press. Well, they've practiced that, you think? Looking good, breaking it, and watch out. Their arms are everywhere on defense. Maxwell working inside, can't get it to roll over the iron. Rebound to the Centurions outside. Three points not there. Garcia, nobody there underneath for Carolina Christian. Knocked out of bounds. It'll belong to Blue Lights. Nong checks into the ball game, replacing Maxwell. So it's Nong, Garcia, Campbell, Hurt, and Domo on the line, or on the floor, rather, for Blue Lights College. Mario Farr pleased with his first half of action, chatting with him at halftime. Outside three on the way for Garcia. He's got it. He had nine in the first half. He's got 14 now coming out hot. And the lead is at 29, largest of the night. Not there. Rebound though for Centurions. Boy, you think they got a talking to about hitting the boards in the first half. Yeah. And I believe Gray got the message. I think he's gotten all three of the buckets here in the early going. Coach Jamie Foster calling out instructions to his guys as the foul, I believe, was called on uh, Young. His first. And a travel. Will turn the ball over to Carolina. Blue lights, five and five on the season. Carolina Christian, four and six under first year coach Jamie Foster. Looking for an outlet to the Outside, 
Playing with some intentionality. That one short tapped up, out of bounds. No, oh, there it is. Yep, it'll belong to Blue Lights. Yep. As Edwards had his foot on the line. And they'll continue the full court pressure, which hasn't worked since that timeout by Mario Farr. And they get it into Garcia, back into the hands of the sure-handed point guard, Richard Campbell. Brings it up working against Goolsby. And, oh, it looks like he may have gotten away with one, but he takes it up and good by Rich. He's got four points here in the second half, 55-36, back to 19. Gets the pick, kicks it over left side, back outside, and the drive up and good. Edwards, with his fourth point of the night, made it look easy. 55-38, 16-50 to play in the ball game. Nong to Domo. Man-to-man -man defense being sported by the Centurions. Garcia under pressure to Campbell. Time ticking. Garcia squares up. Can't get it. Here comes the Centurions. And a reach in on Hunter, his second. And I believe that's the team's second. Williams checking in for the herd, replacing Hunter. Good job, down low. Gray to inbounds for Carolina. Far side. Here we go. And a whistle. Is that before the shot? That was a difficult one there. I'm not sure. Blocking foul called on Williams. That'll be his second and the team's third, according to my. I may have missed one in there, but I, it's uh, definitely the second on Williams. And Carolina will be inbounding, baseline left. Resetting the shot clock to 20 seconds with 16-18 to play. Second half, Blue Lights has led the entire way. But they find the man open underneath and travel. Good defense underneath. Turns the ball back over. Into Nong. Nong will bring it across. Our thanks to the facility here, Hope Community Church, for letting us use their wonderful facility once again as our home court this season. All of our games will be here except one. Off the glass. Kisses it for two. Campbell making this game his own. He's got 20 on the night. Not there. Rebound is not there as well. Third shot, and it rattles out in a foul on the play. Two shots coming up. Looks like we got a foul on the floor on number 30. Nong will pick up his first, team's fourth. But two shots coming up for Carolina Christian. Just about four and a half minutes gone here in the second half. 57-38. It's okay to make some noise, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. And gets it. Goolsby has three from the line so far and four points on the night. Correction, that is his third point on the night. All of them have come from the stripe. Can't get that one to go, but chases it down. Way outside, making it look easy. That should have been a four-pointer. Young has all six of his points from beyond the arc, which is short on this court. Threads the needle, can't not there, and stripped away. I thought it was going to be a held ball, not there. It takes it the distance up and good for two for Darius Goolsby and his first field goal of the night. Driving baseline up and off the glass, it's short. 
And rebound comes down to Edwards. Come on, Carl Price. Let's find that mojo, baby. Let's find the mojo. Let's Driving go. inside, off the glass, up and, and good. And a timeout after the Goolsby bucket. He's got two, two in a row. Like 14.37 to play first half. And all of a sudden, it's an 11-point lead. They've trimmed it from 19 here in the last minute or so. And as they've been driving the ball inside, but the timeout charge to Jamie Foster. Again, we'll be back home here one week from tonight at Hope Community Church Apex Auditorium. Taking on the Warriors of Appalachian Bible College. Be on the 29th. Hope you can join us for that game uh, and uh, one more home game after that coming up on February the 9th as South Carolina Faith comes to town. That game will be at Thales Academy. That is a Saturday 4 p.m. tip. We'll have it for you here. If you can't join us live, you can watch it right here in uh, a number of ways. Our YouTube channel, Blue Lights Thoroughbreds. On our website, bluelightsthoroughbreds.com, or on the Blue Lights Thoroughbreds app. That's right, we have an app. If you uh, want to get that, I will have, I, I need to post that again on how to get that on our website, and I will do that before the end of this week. They break the press. Domo looking for help, gets it in the form of Maxwell. Back to Hunter. Tough, tight man-to-man -man defense. In and out of the hands of Maxwell. Turnover. Here come the Centurions. They want to get this lead here back to single digits, and they do so on the tray by Cunningham. That is his first bucket of the night, and it's 57-49. And a whistle. Too tight a defense being called on Gray, his first foul. Williams to inbound. Finds Campbell. Campbell being guarded by Vicente. And there's the reach in. There's the takeaway and lays it up and in. Two points for Young. He's come alive here in the last here few moments. 57-51, and what had been a 19-point lead is down to six. With 13.33 remaining, we've got a ball game on our hands. Hunter to Garcia. The Hunter man-to-man -man defense. Hunter with a hole, can't get it to go, but the putback is there by Maxwell. Maxwell's first bucket of the second half. Blue Lights thought they might cruise in this one. That's not the plans for Carolina Christian. Shot is up, rims in and good. Edwards, 59-53, back to six. Maxwell sees a hole, dishes on the right. Garcia for three, rattles out. Maxwell battling inside. The numbers aren't with him. It's taken away by Vicente. Quickly down the floor. This is Gray driving the bucket. It's not there. Maxwell cleans the glass. Williams takes it away. Lays it off the glass for two. And his first field goal. And a timeout. And there. Timeout on the floor. 12.34. I think it may be an official timeout. And we're getting back to action. A couple of subs check in for the Centurions. So they'll have Young on the floor. Vicente is there. Cunningham. Burnett is on the floor. And Horrell back. Vicente with the ball. Driving and a push off. That's a charge. Vicente's first. Turnover by the Centurions, number 11, Mr. Anthony Vicente. On the floor for Blue Lights, it's Williams. 
Maxwell, Campbell, Hunter, and Garcia. 61 53, 12 20 to play. Long distance. And Garcia has a hand on it, gets it back on the tap pass from Maxwell for two. Garcia having another good game. Outside for three. It's nothing but net for Young. His third tray of the night, and he has 11 points. Domo finds Maxwell, finds Williams off the glass. Not there, too hard. This is Cunningham dishing off. From the blocks, the shot isn't there. Tapped up once, Rebounded twice. Boy, Centurion's doing a much better job on the boards here in the second half. That shot's not there, and Maxwell cleans it out to Hunter. Quickly cross the floor to Williams, and a push being called on Cunningham, and he picks up his first personal. Almost every player in black now with at least one personal. Here we go. 11.27 to play, 63-56. And Victor Nong checks back into the ball game. He's the one of the two second semester additions for Coach Mario Carr. Maxwell will get a break. Nong with some good first half minutes. He's got eight points on the night. And we have a... Clarification at the scores table. We've got that. It comes into Hunter. We're back to action. Stops, pops, shoots. That's not there. Nong tries to reach for it, but Cindy comes down with it for Carolina. He stops and throws it into the hands of Richard Campbell. Campbell's going to take it coast to coast. The reverse is there. It's good for two and one coming up. Campbell giving it up. And he's got 20 points on the night to lead all scorers. Here we go. We got one shot at the line. And gets three the old fashioned way. For 21. And the lead back to 10 with 11.05 to play. 66 56. Outside, three on the way for Burnett. It's not there into the hands of Williams. Williams cross court to Hunter. Hunter squares up. It's too long. There's Garcia. His shot blocked. Fight for it comes down to CCC. Let's go, defense. Let's go. Let's go. Outside to Horrell back. Into the hands of Burnett. Burnett does it the hard way. Gets it up and good. His first bucket of the second half. He's got eight points. 66 58. Ten and a half minutes to play. All right. Hunter brings it across. Bringing it up the court. Giving Campbell a break at the point guard spot. Here we go, Into the circle. Back to Richard. Pass back up top. Richard gets a pick between the legs. He'll come back out looking for some movement. Shaking and baking, spin outside. Nong squares up. That's his spot. He's got it for three. You can't leave Victor Nong alone out there at about 15 feet. Well, I guess that's more like 18, 19 feet. And Nong knows it was him. And he picks up his second foul of the night. Two coming at the line for Edwards. 69-58, 9.45 to play in this one. That's off the iron. Mario Farr. Prepping his guys for what's coming up, and it's a 10 point game now. Blue lights with possession. Still trying to beat that full court press. And Williams wanted a foul, couldn't get it. Has his pocket picked in the corner. Up for three. It's long. 
and a reach in on Goolsby for his, what I have is his first foul of the evening. And Centurions will stay in the full court press. And here we go. Which has resulted in a few turnovers, but for the most part, Blue Lights has been able to handle it. They get it into Nong to Campbell. Stops, pops at the elbow, got it! Two. And Campbell's got 23 on the night. There's the roller, not there, tapped up. Domo with the rebound, and it's tied up with Edwards, Burnett rather, and the possession arrow, and Domo is in pain. Came down on his ankle. And an official timeout as Mario Farr goes out to take a look at him, and hopefully this is nothing more than a cramp. But it will stop the clock. Assistant coach Joel Myers going out to take a look as well. 9.22 to play. 71-59. And he's going to get a hand as he comes off the floor. Dominique Hunter leaving the game with five points, but a solid game defensively. And so that's going to leave a hole for Blue Lights the rest of the way with only one player remaining on the bench. So Campbell, Nong, Williams, Garcia, and Hurt on the floor for Blue Lights against the full court press. And Nong will bring it up under nominal pressure. Tom Edwards takes it the distance. He's fouled. Two shots coming up. Edwards was with him the whole way, and I have that as the fourth foul on Keontae Edwards, the sophomore out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. That may be the first shot Nong's missed all night. I think he may have missed one from the field in the first half. And Edwards will sit down. Goolsby also heads for the bench. Henny back in. Horrell back is there. Young is on the floor for Carolina Christian as well. Second shot coming up. And that one is good for Nong. 12 points on the evening for the freshman. Quickly down the floor. And they're going to call a blocking foul on Garcia as he was moving underneath. And that's the third on the sophomore from Cleveland. By number 10. Mr. Romero, Nine minutes, six seconds, a lot of time left in this one. 72-59, Blue Lights has led the entire game. In the second half, they've led by as many as 19. Let me double check, did it get up to 20 at one point or was it only 19? Just 19, I think. But just as it looked like they were going to pull away, Carolina Christian, Made a run and cut it to six. The lead is now at 12. Williams off the glass, finds the hole. And the six-foot freshman guard with two field goals here in the second half. Tapped away by Williams on the floor, tied up, and boy, they're letting them play. Off the glass too hard. The follow is up and good by the muscular Henny. He has six. And a foul, I believe, is going against Horlback. 
and that's his third if that's the case. Stopping the clock with 8.22 to play. And Nong, who is one of the better free throw shooters on the team, will have two more. He missed one earlier, so I'm probably jinxing him. Yep, I am. I'll stop saying that. Oh, a stutter step. Gets away with that. The uh, ball contested. And up and good by Gray. And he's got eight points here in the second half. Ten for the night. Balanced scoring attack by Carolina Christian. Man-to-man -man defense spreading it. Garcia has it swatted away. Chasing it down is Young. He takes it the distance for two. And the lead is trimmed to eight. Here we go. 7.37 to play. Campbell gets away with some help from Nong. Has the ball stripped, tapped away, and they'll take it up and lay it in. And the lead is at six with 7.20 to play. Full court pressure doing its work. If not in the backcourt, certainly a more active defense by the Centurions here in the half court has resulted in a few turnovers. The blue lights needing to be patient. Campbell knows he can get there, but he can't make it connect. And a block called on Justin Hurt. Mario Farr contesting that he had his feet planted, and it certainly looked like he did. That's his third. Garcia with three. Maxwell with three as well. Horlbach has three. Henny with three. And Edwards with four for Carolina Christian. Gray with his first free throw of the night to go with ten points. And he hits them both. He's got 12 on the night. And a timeout. Jamie Foster wants to talk things over. Six minutes, 53 seconds to go, and the lead has been trimmed to four. 74-70. It's a 60-second timeout. We'll step away as well. We'll be right back here to Apex. Dominique Hunter will be checking back into the ball game. And that is a good sign as he didn't look so good when he came off a couple of minutes ago. What well, looked like maybe a twisted ankle, but maybe it was just a cramp and he's been able to get that worked out. So it will be Campbell, Garcia, Domo, Williams, and Maxwell on the floor working against the full court pressure of Carolina Christian. Here comes Domo working it up. Over to Garcia, to Williams. He drives, can't get it to go, and a foul on the play, and Maxwell will be going to the line. Gray called for the personal and two shots coming up for Mike Maxwell, who's pretty good from the line for a big guy and hits. First shot by number one, Mr. Mike Maxwell. He's got four from the stripe this evening. 6.33 to play in this one. Rattles the second one in, and the lead 
is back to six, 76-70. Centurion's working it inside. There's the short jumper, not there. Battle for the rebound. And elbows are flying. And let's see what this one's going to be called. And Mike Maxwell just picked up his fourth. And Mario Farr says, I can't, I can't take that chance. And Victor Nong will check back in for the big guy here in just a moment after the free throw by Jason Henney. It's good. Henney will have one more, and the lead is back to five for Blue Lights. They've led all night by as many as 19, by as few as four here in the second half, and this made shot by Henney will get it back to four points, and that's exactly what he does. Full court pressure once again. They've stuck with it ever since getting down here in the second half by 19, and that has allowed them to claw back into it. Domo gets free, drives inside, and I think it's going to be Henny with the reach. Actually, Horl back. And that's his fourth, so... Edwards and Horlback now one foul away from sitting down for the evening. Maxwell with four for Blue Lights, and he is on the bench as Domo goes to the line for two shots. Just a tick under six minutes to go in this one from Apex. Gets the second one. And Hunter has six on the night. 77, 72, and a whistle. Nong. And the one and one coming up. For Jason Henney, the New Jersey product. Five minutes, 52 seconds to go. He hits the first one, and the lead back to four. Second shot. And the lead is at three. All right, we got a nail biter on our hands now, ladies and gentlemen. Thoroughbred 77. Full court press once again. Here comes Nong. They'll let him bring it across. Looking for help. Looking for some help. He can't find it. We got a timeout on the floor. Good timeout called as it was getting close to the five-second call for Nong. 60-second timeout for Mario Farr. It's a three-point ball game with five minutes, 41 seconds to go. We'll step away. We'll be right back. Here in Apex. thought they were going to run away with this thing. That's certainly not the idea that Carolina Christian had in mind as they've cut a 19-point lead down to three with less than six minutes to go. And the Centurions get a held ball, and that's pointing in their direction. Another turnover for Blue Lights, 5.32 to play. And it's 77-74, a one-possession ball game for the Centurions. And an official timeout. 
As we have a question with the clock, they're going to get that straightened out. We'll be back up. Three timeouts remaining for Blue Lights. Williams goes for the ball, can't get it. Outside, three could tie it, not there. Tapped back out. Richard Campbell has the rebound, and he's going to bring it back out. Hunter squares up. Got it! Boy, that's big. Domo with his second tray of the night. 80 to 74, 505 to play. And Henny turns it over on the charge. That's his fourth. So three players now in black with four fouls each. Centurions bring in some subs. They've got a deeper bench than Blue Lights. And uh, that, we'll see if that plays into the fatigue factor going down the stretch here with about five minutes to go. Garcia off the glass, can't get it to go. Nong's put back is not there, rebound Centurions. Dishing it off, it's there, it's not there. There's the put back on the second trance. Up and good by Gray. Boy, he's had a big second half. All right, Gary, let's go, baby. 12 points for Gray. Here after the break. And just as I say that, Gray picks up his third foul. We got two shots at the line. Four minutes, 29 seconds to go on a four point ball game, 80 to 76. First shot, no good, but there he wins. We got Williams hits shot. the front end. One more coming. Second one is good. Look, it's one of two. My bad. 81-76, back to five. Young dishing it off. Gives it up to Edwards outside. He puts it in. Three-point game. Carolina Christian has not led tonight. Four eleven in this one. Along the baseline to Hunter. Hunter working Let's against go. Young. Spread the man to man. And he's gonna take it to the glass. It's not there. And you can tell Hunter just tweaked his ankle a little bit and he's he's hurting. He doesn't have the step. And it's not there. Nong cleans the glass. Quickly down the floor to Williams. Williams taking it to the glass. It's up and good. That was huge. A nice drive by Williams. 83-78, 335 to play. Every basket a big one now. And Hunter is in pain on defense. Not there. And Richard Campbell is there with the big rebound. Richard taking it in, off the glass for two. That's huge. Let's go. 89 to play. And a timeout, no, the reach. Hunter limping off the floor and Hurt will check in for him. One and one substitution. Young will be shooting. One and one at the line, Mr. Caleb Young. That'll, that might do it for <laughs> Domo tonight. Good distractions, good distractions. And he makes it look easy. First one was good by Mr. Caleb Young. 14 points. Let's make some noise. For the freshman out of Alabama. And he hits the second one. Second shot, also good. We got a substitution on the floor. 85-80, 3.08 to play. Henny sits down. Gouldsby checks back into the ball game. For Carolina Christian, bounce pass in to Hurt. Hurt against the tight defense to Williams. 
Williams had the big drive a moment ago. He's going to try it again, kicks it outside. Garcia way outside. Oh, that's his shot, but it rims out. Got him on the baseline, looking for help, looking for help. Nong outside and gets it back on the save. Down to Williams. Williams off the glass. It's not there. Out of frustration. Out of frustration. It's a close game, ladies and gentlemen. Williams picks up his third after the miss. 2.33 to play. Blue Light still holding on to a five-point lead. It's been as few as three at the 5.52 mark. It's been as many as 19 in the second half. But Blue Lights has been unable to put away Carolina Christian here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, it's okay to make some noise right now. These two teams will meet at least once more this season. Regardless of this outcome, I am... Tell about that, and again in a second, there's the shot not there, and a whistle on the free throw. Another shot coming up on the bonus. First shot, no February 15th, Friday evening game in Winston-Salem. Next to the last game of the season for Blue Light. The shot is up and good for Edwards. 85-81, two and a half to play. And then these two teams could meet again in the Southern Crossroads Athletic Association postseason tournament. This would, in essence, next year would count as a conference game. Goolsby with the push as the fouls are really adding up now and the double bonus coming up for Richard Campbell. We got two shots, two shots. Three players for the Centurions with four fouls for each. Maxwell with four for Blue Lights. First shot is up and good by Campbell. Hurt sits down, Maxwell in for Mario Farr. Second shot. Second one won't drop. 86 81, 210 to play. Let's go, defense. Let's go. Centurions way outside. It's not there. Tapped out by the Centurions. Last touch by Goolsby. It's a real nail biter in the gym tonight, ladies and gentlemen. 2.01 to go. Garcia will inbound. Campbell calling the play. Here we go. Thoroughbreds trying to battle that whole quarter. I tell you, whoever wins this ball game tonight. Both teams are going to be feeling it tomorrow. It has been a hard-fought ball game. Campbell with the turnaround finds Maxwell. Can't get it to drop. Chases it down and throws it off. Bob Goolsby. Burnett, rather. Heads up play by Maxwell. A minute 44 to play. Here we go. Referees consulting. Making sure the clock is correct. Inbounds to Maxwell. Maxwell spinning. Gets it this time. 88-81, 135 to go off the glass. This one too hard. Tapped up, and Nong has it quickly down the floor. Campbell lays it in. What a big night for Campbell. Beautiful pass off the rebound by Nong. There's a push, no call, and Garcia has it. Quickly down the floor, Campbell looking, looking. Feeds Nong underneath. Batted around and picked off by Centurions, and they're going to lay it in off the glass, too, for Goolsby, and a timeout on the floor. 105 to play, the lead at seven. And a big run there in the last 30 seconds by the Thoroughbreds to stretch it out to nine points. Now at seven with a timeout on the floor. 
But what a night by uh, Richard Campbell. 16 points in the second half thus far to go with his 14 in the first. And this may be, this may be a, a new career high for the point guard out of Indiana. Usually lets his assists do the talking. Tonight it's been his shooting that has done it with a lot of help from his friends. A great pass by Nong, who's been such a big addition here in these first couple of games of the second semester. Into Campbell, here we go. He sees a ho hole, it's Maxwell laying it in. The assist by Campbell and a foul on the play. And I think there may be a problem with the clock once again. We're getting that squared away. Ty will have that in good shape in just a moment. The lead back to nine with 55 seconds to go. The Centurions, no quit in them tonight. Here they come back as the... They added a few seconds on the clock, and there's a whistle. The shot, no good. They're going to wave that off, and the foul will be called on Williams. And that is his fourth. So two thoroughbreds with four fouls now. Let's go. All right. Young makes the most of it with the clock stop, 51.8 seconds to go, and trims the lead back to eight. Second one, nothing but net. 92-85. Garcia finds Campbell, and here we go. Time is on their side. They don't need to score, and there's, they're trying to get the, the foul, but they're letting them play. And there's the wrap-up. They have to call that one on Gray. That's his fourth. And so the freshman will go to the line with 39 seconds to go and the lead at seven. No pressure. Like I said, no pressure. Ten points on the night for Darius Williams and or Darian rather, and he will have one more coming with 39 seconds to go. Got it. He's in double digits. We've needed every one of them here tonight. If you're a Blue Light Thoroughbreds fan, driving inside, kicking it out for three. Got it. That's Young with the tray. 29 seconds. And there's the wrap up and Maxwell will go to the line off the foul by Gray. And I have that as five fouls on Gray. It was counted on 24, and that's his second. My bad. I ha I thought it was 12. 26.9 seconds and 96.88. They're going to need some trays. They pop it from the corner. It's short, not there. Garcia has it, and he's going to get it to Campbell and. Out of bounds, off Young. 12.1 seconds to go, 96-88. Thoroughbreds will inbound here, and we'll see. I think they're going to, maybe they're going to, no, they're not going to call off the Centurions. Campbell with another opportunity from the line with 10.4 seconds to go. And the lead at eight. And Blue Lights has led this one from the start. And 
this should seal the deal. It's uh, even now it is a, a three possession ball game. That pushes it to nine points. One more shot. And here we go with six seconds to play. Outside, not their rebound. They'll let them take it. It's up and good. And that will be the ball game. And the Thoroughbreds lead it from stem to stern, the final. Blue Lights, 98. And Carolina Christian, 90. Richard Campbell with a big, big night. 30 points for him to lead all scorers, but it was truly a team effort. Every player who dressed for the Thoroughbreds scored here this evening. And the Thoroughbreds go to six and five on the season. And the second consecutive win against no losses for new coach Jamie Farr, Carolina Christian falls to four and seven on the season. But again, these two teams will meet again February the 15th in Winston-Salem and possibly at the Southern Crossroads Athletic Association Tournament in Rossville, Georgia. That coming up beginning March the 7th. Amen. And a word of prayer as they finish up here this evening. So uh, my thanks, Rod Warren, who has been uh, turning the knobs and getting us on the air back at Master Control in Arkansas. That was Blair Cartwright, our broadcast manager for Mascot Media. Sean was behind the camera this evening. My thanks to uh, Ty and everybody that made this game possible tonight for DJ Big D and L.A. across the way who provided the music and the uh, in, in arena sound tonight. Our next game for Blue Lights coming up this Friday night. They're on the road in Purcellville, Virginia to take on the Sentinels of Patrick Henry College. They return here to Hope Community Church in Apex. Next Tuesday night, one week from tonight, a 5.30 start to take on Appalachian Bible College. I hope you'll join us for that. Again, our final here tonight, it's Blue Lights 98, Carolina Christian College 90. Blue Lights with a winning record on the season now as they improve to 6-5. and five. For Coach Mario Farr, President Captain Jacques Gilbert, and all of us here at Blue Lights College, I'm Mike Davis. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you one week from tonight. <laughs>